Coming up on Press This, we pick the clear winner of WordPress Frameworks. And did you see the season finale of Game of Thrones? Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, as always, it is a great pleasure to see you. Guess what we're finally wrapping up today? Hmm. Frameworks. Theme frameworks. Theme frameworks, WordPress theme frameworks. But before we continue, subscribe. We want to hit over a thousand YouTube subscribers. Uh, get to youtube.com slash Slocum Studio where you're at now. Hit the old subscribe button. Because uh, we want to get over a thousand. This episode brought to you by our latest theme, yeah. Modern Real Estate, a responsive WordPress theme built for real estate agents, real estate companies, anyone, <laughs> and also bloggers and small businesses because it's built with them in mind. Awesome. Too. For those of you who shook your head uh, in confusion when we said we're finally wrapping up Dream Frameworks and wondering what the show is, um, Press This is a show where we look at the latest and greatest in WordPress news reviews. We'll actually take a look at uh, plugins, we'll review them, put them head to head. We never come out with a clear winner, but we always provide the best solution for you. <laughs> and that is always the answer is it depends. It depends. And there's a lot of that today. There's a lot and of our, that And our look at uh, three theme frameworks, of course, you know, um, the popular ones like Genesis and, and Thesis. Though we didn't really look at Thesis yet. Um, and as always, comment below. Let us know of other theme frameworks we want you to look at. We can consistently grow this, this video or this presence of yeah. theme frameworks. So the ones we looked at over the last, I don't know, month or so, it's been Genesis, Builder, Canvas, Headway, Startbox, Thesis, Options Framework, which is actually a plugin, mm -hmm. uh, Page Lines, and then yeah. we had some other freebies that we had yeah. put in there, and we'll talk about those at the yeah. end, uh, closer to the end of this. So yeah. if, you, if this is the first episode you've seen about frameworks, what is so nice about WordPress frameworks? What's right. so great about frameworks? And Dan, you were using one framework uh, out of this list to build your site. What yeah. are some of the benefits you found? Yeah, so I was using Headway. Um, we started talking about it early, and at the same point, I was looking at creating a website. So I can tell you that um, the nice thing about frameworks is that if you're somebody like myself who's not a big developer, designer, or anything like that, you're just getting into it. You might know some CSS. Like I implemented some CSS and some HTML into it. Um, as well as a little tiny little bit of PHP and stuff. It's 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 a great thing to get into because it doesn't require a lot of that extra legwork. Mm. It doesn't give you as much option, of course, and nothing will ever give you as much option as just straight crafting a website from scratch by yourself. But it's a really great resource if you want, you know, you have a design in mind specifically and you just want to create, you want to take that design and you just want to put it onto, on, onto, your, onto a site like that. Yeah, I'm so glad that you, that you brought that point up because there are purists out there yeah. that are pulling the emergency train mm -hmm. stop handle right now say whoa 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 you should build from scratch mm -hmm. or you shouldn't use a theme framework and here's why mm -hmm. uh well look not everyone is an elite developer right. or an elite designer um yeah. what we also find people using frameworks are people who are offering wordpress yes services they yeah. have a wordpress business they're wordpress yes. entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and they're using you know very popular genesis or they're using uh builder uh, or they're using uh, Headway and they're building solutions for people yeah. uh, at a, at, a, at an affordable price because mm -hmm. these frameworks are pre-built. They're yeah. a framework. They're ready to roll. Not a bad thing, yeah. um, you know. But there are people out there who say, "Whoa, my site hits 3.7 million hits a day. You shouldn't be using." It. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, let's just bring it down a little bit yeah. to the normal folk, right? Yeah. So, so the re and I think the reason um, that I'm really into Headway, aside from using it, is it just really hit me. It's a, it's a great. It's actually a drag and drop uh, framework, which is I think the only one we really looked at that did that. Mm -hmm. Pure drag and drop. They have their own design layout. It's really cool. I really recommend you guys check it out or look at our video about Headway to get a better analysis on it. Um, but similar to that, um, as far as giving you those options, that visual option was was Builder was a really good one. Um, really good control over what posts are going to go where to with Loop Buddy, mm -hmm. which I really liked. Um, and Canvas was great if you're looking to go into e-commerce specifically because it does tie into that wonderful WooCommerce, which we talk about a lot in this show, um, that wonderful sort of uh, shopping or e-shopping yeah. service. So, I mean, you ask yourself in the beginning, do you really need a framework? Yes, no. Uh, if the answer is yes, uh, then we continue on uh, with these great reasons. Mm -hmm. So... Dan mentioned some uh, just recently, uh, but the winners 
the yeah. winners so far, besides the it depends yeah. answer. Uh, yeah, you know, the three that we like the most, Headway, Builder, and Genesis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and sort of my take on that is Headway's perfect for a guy like Dan, uh, who, you know, doesn't want to get into the code, right. but he's got some he's got some design chops. He's, he knows what he wants. He knows right. how it should look and feel. You know, he, you really have that under your belt. Yep. And Headway allows you to do that, drag and drop. You can still get into mm -hmm. the code. You know, I'm not talking about the specifics of, of that, but it's a great way to, I've got some visual um, skills, mm -hmm. uh, but not the design chop, uh, not the development chops. Headway might be a good fit. Right. Drag and right. drop. Absolutely. But then for somebody like yourself, mm -hmm. so a little bit more chop or some of our developers here in house or designers, um, Genesis, mm -hmm. which is one of the ones we picked, would be a fantastic option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, we call that the mothership uh, of theme frameworks. Right. There is a Genesis 2.0 coming out mm -hmm. uh, relatively soon. Uh, it was like in alpha stages when we started this. So we might go back and recap that, but Genesis marries both worlds mm -hmm. really well. Great design yeah. themes, mm -hmm. a tremendously advanced framework um, that is you know, very developer-centric, right. uh, but with great design themes yeah. to, to layer on top of that. Absolutely. Um, a much more blank canvas, but um, yeah. a, fantastic, a fantastic resource. And only going to get better with HTML5 with Genesis 2, which yep. is going to be wonderful. Um, they're going to make it easier to do things like that loop buddy was doing as we were talking about Builder. Mm -hmm. Um, where you'll be able to put post the post that you want, even if it's not the newest one at the top or where, whatever you want to do to organize your information. There. Yeah. So, and, and Builder is kind of our third winner. Right. Um, you know, it's, it's really like, you know what? I, uh, you know, I'm not going to be as deep into the code like I would be with Genesis, mm -hmm. but I need a little bit more of that developer friendliness yeah. with some good design pre-built Builder sits kind of like right in the middle for me. Like Headway would be like really. Oh, Headway is really, really just you gotta kind of have to roll with with their with their punches. You know yeah. what I mean? Yep. Uh, but Genesis gives you a lot more options. Headway's uh, Builder. I'm sorry, Builder is just a great like sort of middle ground. Yeah, and I really like. And to me, it comes down to what am I what am I doing with my WordPress sure. website, especially if I'm servicing others. Mm -hmm. Builder is one of those things that's like, hey, it's really great because I can pass it on to my clients. My clients can understand it. Not that they can't the other ones, but this is just my own opinion on this. Right. And they've got, you know, a good workflow. It's just right. a workflow that makes me feel like yes. I'm driving yeah. between the lines like I should be. Sure. Um, um, as far as ones, I mean, I don't want to get too negative here, but as far as ones, other ones we looked at that maybe had a we, stranger workflow, like Suffusion we talked about by yeah. Acquoid Themes, they had a very strange, a very visual workflow, sort of like when we talked about um, Magic Members way back. Um, which feels like literally forever ago yeah. now. Um, uh, a very sort of weird, built into WordPress yet not WordPressy interface, which can be a little confusing. Well, I think that I think Suffusion was one of those ones that I had never heard about before mm -hmm. until you did the research yeah. and found it yeah, and have yeah. over a million downloads. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty tremendous. Yeah, yeah. Um, so again, it's like, how do you pick a winner when each one serves? And this is the this is rings true for, for mm -hmm. anything in the WordPress community. Right. Like there's a hundred thousand plugins or whatever that do the same thing. Um, you know, it's just, it all depends. It depends yeah. on what you, what you need. So fusion was cool. I mean, it, it just had a ton of options, mm -hmm. tons, right? You could control everything. So yeah. I think that if you were to dive into Suffusion, you would be there yeah. for quite some time sure. trying to figure it all out. <laughs> we had other options too. Um, if you were one of those people, those more developer oriented folks earlier who did, who did pull the brakes, um, there are some other options that are free. Uh, Suffusion is actually one of them we just talked about, um, which is another reason why I had a million downloads. Mm. Um, but uh, boot, we looked at Bootstrap WP, which kind of takes that Twittery or that Twitter. It actually does take the Twitter um, code to a degree and sort of kind of implements it into your website. And we looked at a few that were very, very bare bones, one being Bones by Themeble, which is the one that, if you recall, had the great little image or the yep. great little video at the top of the yep. page. Um, and then HTML5 Reset, which is super bare bones, but add some great HTML5 implementation into your WordPress website. Yeah. Uh, I mean, everybody really, like I said, everybody gets honorable mentions. I mean, I yeah. think everything fits uh, fits the bill. Uh, we're just looking at it from, as we suspect our audience to be, are the people sure. who are just starting off with this, trying sure. to get their business Word, mm -hmm. WordPress site going. Yeah. And they're also folks who kind of sell WordPress services right. at the same time. Right. So, yeah, I think Headway, Builder Genesis, um, and especially with Genesis 2.0, the guys over at Builder, which is actually iThemes, they're announcing their own e-commerce plugin. I can't wait to yep. talk about that someday. Yep. A little competition against WooCommerce. Sure. Um, but you know, one of the notes you have here is the other reason for picking a framework is that ecosystem that yep. you that you get plopped yep. into. Mm -hmm. 
So you get in there from right. these companies and they're like, hey, you know, buy the builder framework. Well, guess what? Builder is going to have, or I think is going to have an e-commerce right. plugin. So that's mm -hmm. going to work great with Builder. Right. Canvas and Woo Themes, they're already yeah. doing that. So you've got mm -hmm. Canvas, which is Woo Themes framework. And oh, by the way, works. It's going to work yeah. great with with W uh, with uh, Woo Commerce. So, right, right. you know, you're you're diving into these e these ecosystems. Mm -hmm. Well, we're just trying to give you a little bit of guidance. Right. Which ecosystem should you dive into? Because right. once you dive in, you're there. Right. Um, you know, you've, you've invested some money in that right. thing. And, and everything's, and back to the business side of things, everything's relatively cheap. Yeah. So even if you bought all three of these things, you might right. spend three, four, five hundred bucks. But over the course of time, if you're servicing 10, 20, 50, 1,000 customers <laughs> over the course of time, right. very, very little money. Right. And this is where you also decide that if you need to invest either more or less money, do I go with the route of picking a, a, a framework or just picking a, a pre-designed uh, theme template that kind of meets, meets your needs? Or do you go to somebody if you want to spend a little bit more money because you just want to get rid of that headache in, uh, over time and just get a custom website designed? Yeah. So good stuff, Dan. Uh, it's been a pleasure yeah. going through all these WordPress yeah. theme frameworks with you. It's been a ride, but we're not done yet, folks. If you have any, if you have one, hey, if you have one that you want us to take a look at and, and talk about a bit on the show, feel free to let us know about it in the comments below. Talk about ones that you've seen in your travels or that you use as well. We can talk about that too. Yeah, absolutely. And again, we want to hit over a thousand fans. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Mm -hmm. And look, if you need WordPress support, we're there for you. Check out sloganstudio.com slash launch. You need a place to host all these websites that you're reselling to customers. We get some great hosting plans. Uh, check out sloganstudio.com slash manage hosting. Um, and you can see some of the stuff we do to help people like you sell and support WordPress to your clients. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.